All right, so now we're going to talk about Ironside, and this stars Blair Underwood, and it's a remake of, I believe, a 70s show, and where uh, um, the lead detective is in a wheelchair, and um, at the beginning there was apparently a lot of uproar about this show because Blair Underwood isn't actually um, disabled, He's he can walk, and um, people were upset that they didn't choose a disabled actor, um, but this show decided to... To put a little spin on the show and they do a lot of flashbacks back to when Blair Underwood's character was able to walk and so I guess they're kind of you know going back to tell some certain stories to, to reference an, a certain case that they're dealing with at present day so I mean I can understand why they decided they were going to go this way with the story to just kind of maybe give it a fresher take and give it a little bit of a different um, look so anyways, we'll get to the actual premise of the show, and that is that um, Blair Underwood is the lead detective, and he works with four other um, uh, assistants, and they're just basically solving cases every week. At this point, I'm not really sure if there is, you know, well, they actually, they definitely have not. Okay, so um, no, they definitely have not um, made it look as though there's an overall arc to the series. So right now it's just basically solving each case. Um, there's a case of the week. And I mean, I don't really know how much more engaging it can get other than that because they, ha they didn't start to show off with a mystery as to, you know, how did he get shot? Or are they still trying to solve the case as to how he got shot? Because he's they, they already flash back to it so we already get a sense of that it was an accident that his partner actually shot him and his partner is dealing with a lot of grief because of it but that being said that's not really enough to drive the overall story going forwards so this show as well is is on the bubble for me it's not doing that great in the ratings it was actually one of the worst talked about shows leading into the previews uh, or the premiere season. Um, I mean, I don't think it's that bad, but I also don't think it's going to have a lot of longevity if it doesn't have a bigger hook that's going to drive you each week going, okay, are we going to find a little bit more piece of the puzzle? Like, what's going on? So I think that the show is in jeopardy of being cancelled. Hopefully not, because Blair Underwood is extremely engaging on screen, and um, I like him as the, as the lead uh, detective. So... Hopefully the, sh the show can tighten up its, uh, its premise. It can get a little bit more juicier in the overall story that it's trying to tell. Um, but as of right now, it's basically just a case-by-case -case basis. And I don't know if that's going to be enough to uh, hold the viewers. Because we have tons of shows like that, to be honest. Well, that's my review of Ironside.